Welcome back, and today video, we are going to be reviewing some funny clips on YouTube, like some funny videos, some funny shorts, just, yeah. And we're all going to okay, have a great guys, time. So the first one is POV, you just finished playing Roblox, a, you just finished playing a Roblox horror game. Okay, let's watch it. What the Jesus Christ was that? All gonna be okay, I can relate to that. Like, whenever you're playing like a horror game, you always think, "Oh my god!" Like, even seeing like your cousin, like, "Oh my god, is he like an animal?" Like, that's funny. Don't get lost, guys. No, these are just. Can we talk about something? Okay, can my kids use your skincare products? Let's see. <laughs> That, like you'll only hear the lecture that you're reading. Guys, you will you only to... hear the word you're you're reading. Reading. you are reading. What? You will okay, only hear screen. the word you are reading. That is you will so only hear the That's why you did them like a baked bean. A baked a baked bean. <laughs> oh my god, you're so tall. You look cheeky. Oh, yeah, I'm that's pregnant. By who? That's the thing. It's between Jamal and Michael. Girl, if you don't name that baby Jamichael and flip a coin for responsibility, heads Michael, tails Jamal. <laughs> that's funny. Girl, you're smart. Flip it up. Like, literally, I can relate to some of those videos. Like, yeah. I think that we're going to review some, like videos that um you can like those are like relatable videos you know but i think now we're gonna do videos that are like give me a second to think that are like i i remember now i remember now that are like um how foods are actually made and stuff like that you know i'm kind of scared for this one because like i don't know i'm just scared okay guys Okay, guys, we are, we have some. First, all that cheese gets grated until it looks like spaghetti. The cheese goes directly into massive mixing troughs filled with flour. The trough, now holding 1,700 pounds of cheese dough, is wheeled away for the next step. Secret seasonings are carefully weighed and added to the mix along with a yeast solution. Now it's ready for blending. It will proof for a day with hundreds of other batches. When it's ready, another giant machine lifts the trough and dumps the dough into a hopper. It's rolled into king-size sheets and overlapped. Next, the sheets are embossed with millions of those famous squares. Salt sprinkles on top, and they're toasted over open flames in an oven that's longer than a football field. Another nifty device carefully shatters it into bite-sized bits. About okay. 50,000 boxes. Is it just me or wait? Those are filled in just okay. an hour. Is it just me or like they put so much time into Cheez Its when Cheez Its can only last you like a week? It probably takes them like what I don't know, like a month to make all of those. Like just saying. This is how they make food in commercials. So photographers don't actually put milk in the cereal. They use glue because it keeps the cereal in place and prevents it from getting soggy. Bro, nobody likes Apples generally look dull, and so to make them look sharp. Why do they have to do that? Like, I mean, in my opinion, I like soggy cereal, so, like, if I saw soggy cereal on an ad, I would be like, that's some good soggy cereal. I need, they use hairspray to give it a more polished look. Ew. They'll also pour glucose on Chinese food to make it look more appealing and ready to eat. Okay, I understand Since the that. foam in beer doesn't last very long, they'll use dish soap to create longer lasting foam or suds to optimize the photography window. Ew. The grill marks you see on burgers are not from Gordon Ramsay perfecting the grilling process. It's actually just shoe polish that they apply like makeup. Dude. They love yeah. playing with their meat, though, because they stuff chicken with paper towels to make them look plump and bigger than they actually are. That's and lastly, amazing. commercials place warmed-up cotton balls or even tampons behind the food to give the illusion of steam since the window to capture it on the food itself is so small. I don't so think that's made for that. Um, next video. 
Okay, so even as we well, just said okay, bye guys. Thanks for watching this short little video about me watching some videos about stuff and stuff like that. Comment down below if you want more stuff like this or like just like, subscribe, do all those regular thing in the lobbies. Bye guys. Mwah.